G'day YouTubers, I'm just doing this episode to show you the new barbecue I got from my boat. A couple of people have commented on it when they saw it in previous episodes. This is a full episode on it. It's a great marine barbie. It is fully 316 stainless steel, meant for use on boats, stable as. You could cook on this barbie in a storm. I love it. I think it's a perfect answer for a hot meal on a boat. Have a look at it to see what you think. I've given it all a good run. Main thing is to let it run for half an hour, let it uh, burn off any rubbish that's on here so that it's safe to cook on. And unfortunately, I've run out of gas because it went off. So we've got it burned off anyway, so that's what counts. I was going to let it go for a bit more than half an hour, but I don't think it made it much over that. With the lid closed on low, it got up to I think it was 230 degrees and on high it got up to 360 degrees so no trouble doing a roast in there if that's your thing. I finished burning it off, seasoning it, whatever you want to call it. That's all ready to cook on now. It's got a little tongue there so you can only put the grill on the correct way, can't get it on back to front. The only thing is I need something to lever that out because I haven't been able to get it out without having a lever. Other than that, the design is perfect. You can see the splash guards under the grill are all burnished now from the heat. It's got this little shelf that just clips on there. So you can put your knives or cooking instruments there. The rest of your hamburger patties there, I guess, too. The top latches down so it won't come off unexpectedly. You can lift it with the handle and these legs here fold up. Up this end, it's got a, a drip tray that you can pull out to empty and that catches all the fat and everything that runs down there. So it's been very well thought out. Now it all comes with this carry bag to put it in. And you've got a support with a bend in it. That goes in a rod holder that's at an angle and it brings this up straight so you can slip the top on. I'll show you that in a minute. And this straight one will fit in where the bait board goes so that we can put it in the back of the boat if we want to. That's the rack that the whole thing sits on. Those posts go up into that. You've got a wing up there to screw down onto it so that it doesn't come off. The only thing that you've got to do is take this off and that's the thing that they haven't done is give you wing nuts for this. It doesn't fit properly in the bag with its on. Oh, I almost forgot the cover. So if you leave it on the boat overnight, you've got a cover that you can put over it to protect it from the elements. That fits neatly down the side there. That's not a problem. What I'm going to do is just zip it up like that and leave that stick out. And Next time I'm at the hardware shop, I'll get some stainless steel wing nuts to put on there so I can take them on and off very quickly. And I might put a tack weld on the bolt itself to hold it in place so that there's only this piece comes off and the wing nuts. It should be pretty easy to manage then. Setting up the barbecue. A bit of an exercise, but oh gee, it's well worth it. Pencil tray. Love this Barbie. <laughs> Just love it. Alright, see about some food before the sun goes down. So there we go. Barbie's going, she's on. Look at that lovely bit of rib fillet steak my wife put in for me. Oh, aren't I lucky? I think everyone knows how to cook steak, but as soon as you see the blood come up to the surface, toss him over to the other side. Last thing you want is able to cook steak. Rubbery. Mmm, it smells so good. Yeah, I'll just get it in before the sun goes right down. Getting close. 
<laughs> Where do those come from? And that's what I mean by being able to cook in a storm. Those waves hit me. I had no pots and pans to worry about sliding around on the barbie. Everything was just on the grill plate. Perfect answer. Right, here we go. Over, beautiful, looking good. Oh, better put the onion on about now too. I think we can turn this off now and just let the heat in the plate finish that off. All right, better get on to the eating. There we go. Oh, how's that? <laughs> Living the high life. If my wife was here, we'd bring a table. I we could sit at that, but... I was thinking that this might have reached for a tray. And will it? Yes. Just. Okay, I've got a tray to eat on. Bait board, but never mind. We'll do the trick. Oh, look at that. And that's it. I'm all set for my overnighters now. If you'd like to get one, I'll put a link in the video description to where you can buy one on eBay. They sell out pretty quick, so they come and go. I'll put a search link down there as well in case the buyer that I bought off doesn't have any in stock. But the one that I bought off is the cheapest on eBay. In fact, it's the cheapest I could find for that particular brand of barbecue. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're overnighting, consider getting one. They are brilliant. You could even do a roast in it, I'm sure. So until next time, good fishing.